This is our dual battery system for the Diesel Gladiator. So this is a new aluminum storage box that's gonna go under your back seat and encloses that storage area underneath your back seat. This side is actually gonna be facing the front of the vehicle. So your feet will be kicking right here under the seat. This way is gonna to be towards the, the back of your seat. Down here, you've got the Genesis Gen 3 power hub that handles connecting and disconnecting the batteries. You're gonna run your accessories to the bus bars that are built in here. Of course, you got the G-Screen monitoring system port right here for plugging in the G-Screen. Then you're gonna get plenty of ground cable and 13 feet of positive wire that's gonna go under the vehicle, up to the engine bay, and tie into the cranking battery. And then one of the nicest things about putting the dual battery system under the back seat is you have more options for your batteries. So not only do you only need one battery, you also don't have to throw out your factory battery. So you're only buying one battery with this system instead of two and keeping your factory battery. So here we've got a Group 31. This is the biggest battery on the market today for vehicles. And this is a 120 amp hour battery. So this is a big one. Now these brackets that hold the battery down to the tray are adjustable in two different directions. So you can use several different sizes of batteries. So if you want more info on, how, on which batteries will fit into the Gladiator kit, you can check our website for details, but basically it's any battery that's approximately 6.8 inches deep this way. Of course, we got it laid over on its side, so this way is the height, and this is gonna be the depth of the battery. So these brackets are gonna be adjustable this way, and they're also gonna be adjustable. You're gonna be able to slide the battery left and right in the vehicle under the seat a little bit. So that means if you have a smaller battery like a Group 25, you can slide it over and still use this little pocket over here close to the passenger door for storing your gloves, your tree straps, a little tool bag, whatever. And then over here on, on the driver's side, you've got room to mount some other things. If, you, if you're trying to mount you know, some stereo equipment, maybe an air compressor, maybe you got an S-Pod like the S-Pod Bantam, can bolt down to the, the bottom of the tray here for easy access to our bus bars. So anything that you wire up to the bus bars will run from that accessory battery under the back seat without draining your cranking battery. Also, another nice thing is all three of these components are available individually. So if you just want a nice enclosed compartment under your back seat of the Gladiator, you can buy just our nice aluminum storage box. If you have another vehicle that you need to mount a battery into, you can buy these brackets by themselves, put a battery into maybe an old Land Cruiser or a Land Rover, or even a boat or your RV. Anything that you need to put a battery into, you can use these adjustable battery brackets. And then our universal Gen 3 power hub is available by itself as well that you can install into other vehicles. Just run one side to your cranking battery, run the other side of the cables over to your accessory battery to give you an easy remotely mounted dual battery setup. So this is our dual battery setup for the Diesel Gladiator. For more information, check out our website. Hey, I hope that video helped you out. If it was helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. That really does help us out. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment in the comment section down below or send us an email. And remember, it all starts with power.